Welcome to the Vice Family! All right, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we, like, <laughs> sat down and really did something. Yeah. Like, this is going to be a consistent thing we're going to start doing. We're going to start doing, actually, a lot more videos. When my skin sags and my bones get brittle, God is rock firm and faithful. Right now, I got your bullet. And so I got panda because I've been right. wanting Chinese food. Oh. So you got me Chinese food. Oh. Oh. Jedediah is on our table today. He's going to be eating with us. All right, buddy? You're going to be eating with us? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see your food, mama. What did you get? I got orange chicken, okay. beef and broccoli, okay. mainly for the broccoli, mm -hmm. um, chow mein, and fried rice. Gotcha. You want some, buddy? I'm going to open inside and tell you guys what I usually get. Dang, it's a fat burrito. That's a fat burrito. Did you, like, get a double? Double, double everything? Um, yeah, almost. So I got double chicken. So you can see right here, guys. Burrito with extra chicken, double wrap, white rice. I usually, I usually get dub, uh, double white rice, but they, they put a lot last time and I didn't like it. And extra medium corn, um, extra hot, hot red, extra sour cream, cheese, and queso blanco. This combination right here, guys, is like one of the best combination there is. So if you guys ever go to Chipotle, try my burrito. Make sure it's double tortilla as well, because that's how I got it. Yeah, so it doesn't like rip through. Yeah, look how fat this is, y'all. Like, this is, yeah, I have a small head. She got a. Don't do me like that. You did yourself like that, girl. You did. All right, so let's pray real quick. Let's bless the food and let's right get into it. But today we're going to be talking about some something very, very important, right, Bebs? Yeah. Something very, very important. Very, very important. All right, let's pray. Hold, hold hands. All hands. Father God, thank you for this food. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for giving it to us. Thank you for providing for this family. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. You want a broccoli, Jedediah? I hate broccoli, y'all. I don't know how you can stand to eat fake fake veggie. This has beef stuff on it. Man-made veggie. So can, can you eat this? Yeah. Okay. Turn up there. Hey. Jedediah. Eating broccoli for the first time. You gotta grab the stem. <laughs> grab it. Grab it. Jedediah. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> this is your first time? Eating yeah, broccoli, yes. How was it? It also has a bunch of flavoring on it, so. Let's give it to your left hand, because your left hand don't, don't like banging. Then. Eat with that hand. You can bang with this hand if you want to. That's how he loses most of his food, because he likes to bang on the desk. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. Good job. All right, Babs. What is the subject of the matter of the conversation? So I had a lot. The first one I had is kind of... Weird and it's a weird coincidence. Are we talking we about like talk about a it. bunch of things or like no just one topic per video? All right guys, but this one's like a deep topic deep topic But guys if you guys have any recommendation as far as what we need to talk about next because we're going to do a bunch of food like this with Conversations, so you ask it we shout you out and we plug you in and we answer the question. So go ahead No, the first one I had You had it or somebody asked this I can't remember Okay, but yeah. it's gonna sound to weird <laughs> Look at this burrito, y'all. <laughs> okay. Yummy. Want to shake it? Fire. You like the broccoli? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's smacking that. All right, let's get into it before he starts whining. It's, um, so what it is is hardest death. Death? Mm-hmm. In our lives? Like, out of people who've died in your life, what, what, who was the hardest? You go first before I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> you won't cry. It's weird, because on my way here, my sister just called me and said my aunt died. What? Last night. Or this morning. What happened to her? Well, she had a stroke a couple months ago. And then, you know, she fell and broke her hip. And then she went to the hospital, 
And then during the procedure or something, she had a stroke. Broke her hip? Yeah. Dang. And ever since then, she hasn't woken up. And she's my Nana's younger sister. You met her. She came to my graduation party. But she's my great Nana's young, younger sister. Mm. She's my great aunt. But we call her Nana Susie. Um, her name is Susie, too. Um, but she just passed away this morning. Wow, well, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Is that the hardest, though? No. The hardest? I think I know. Yeah. What do you think it is? Go on. Your tata? I thought it was my tata. Because I lived with him. But it's not. Okay, who is it? The hardest one was Kathy. Oh, okay. okay. When we went to that funeral. Mm -hmm. She died when we were married. But she's like a grandma. She married my mom's mom's ex and he was like a grandpa to us mm -hmm. so when she married him she was like a grandma and i even lived with her throughout college a lot and in between um the summers of college mm -hmm. um but that was the hardest i handled it really good because yeah. by then i knew she was saved okay so her funeral wasn't like sad for me because mm -hmm. i knew i'd see her again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know so it was more hopeful but like she's the person i think about the most out of everyone that's died like i still randomly think of her and i cry when i really shouldn't get to meet him mm. not everyone else i really i didn't face how long me. has she been in your life since i was like maybe like 12 i feel like mm. so young kind of young mm -hmm. kind of older yeah. And we used to go to her house a lot and I would always play on her computer. She had one of those big old computers and I'd play Bejeweled, like a game. But yeah, I was super close with her. Because mm -hmm. when I lived with her, we'd stay up to like three in the morning just talking. Because she was in the army. She would just tell me stories. So has that affected you, her death, as much as your tata? Mm. I feel like... You cried more with your tata. I cried more with my tata. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because like, I don't know. I didn't know if he was saved. That's why. So it's like, I was more sad. What does saved means for people that don't know? It means you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And so you're going to heaven. I mean, that's like the only requirement. And he died for your sins. And like my tata was Catholic, so I, I think he may have. But like... Like, I would talk to Kathy about, like, boys and stuff. I would right. talk to my tata about boys, too, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like maybe they're neck and neck then. Because, mm. like, I grew up with my tata. Like, I lived with them, too. But I feel like because Kathy's was more recent, it just, it seems more harder. But, so, yeah, they're probably a tie, honestly. Because I was really close to my tata. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more, the question is more personal. And you remember it more than me, probably. Because I tend to forget that stuff. But you were there when he died. Like, I was, we were started talking already. <laughs> Uh, so, I probably talked to you about it a lot. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. He was crying. He was crying he a said, lot. He said he cried a lot or whatever. Yeah, I cried a lot. But I couldn't do nothing about it because I, was, I wasn't your man then. I was just talking to you. Mm-hmm. Back. Ah! Yep. Uh-uh. Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you don't want to eat, you don't want to eat. Stop swinging this. All right. So either my tata or, or Kathy. What? Either my tata or Kathy. Okay. Got you. So for me, I don't know. I don't, I don't think anybody really affected me like that. Um, my mom passed away when I was super young, so I don't remember as much like, you know, what that was like, to be honest with you. Like, I do remember it. As I started getting older, I started realizing it. And I, like, a few times, I think one time or twice, one time really, I remember crying. But I didn't know what I was crying for, you know? Is it the fact that I didn't have a mother or the fact that I had somebody and then, you know, I lost them? Because, mm -hmm. like, it's two different things. If somebody passed away before you're, you're, like, before you even old enough to remember it. It kind of doesn't affect you as much as if you had somebody and then as you got older, they pass away. That affects you more because you have mm -hmm. more Because you remember them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how old were you when your mom passed away? Tell them. I was about six years old. Five or six years old. But it feels like it's forever ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ready for a nap? What? Are you ready for nap?
He sucked out all the flavor. <laughs> Nap time? Are you sleepy? <laughs> Oh, your new Cassie! He's like, what is that? After that, I really haven't lost anybody. Yeah, I've lost a lot of people. You've been to two funerals since you've married me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if anybody, a friend or something passed away, I know. Like some people that I know passed away and stuff like that, but not like anybody that was close to me. Mm. And I mean, I'm, the, you know, like I lived out here just by myself right. before you met me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm already like halfway, halfway around the world from my main family or my blood family. So it's kind of hard to kind of like have that bond with them still. Mm -hmm. So if any of them would, would have passed away, it wouldn't affect me as much because I haven't been bonding with them for that long. Right. Um, but yeah, like I really, I don't know, it's kind of deep in a way, but to me it's just like as simple <laughs> as, um, you know, I'm going to meet them soon, uh, you know, if I know anybody that are close to me that pass away. Because mm -hmm. this life is temporary. I think everybody, you know, everybody got to go. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to stay here for, you know, longer than usually like what, 90 years old, 100. Mm -hmm. some, some people are blessed to live 105, 110. But yeah, nothing really like that affected me. I guess like that, that question would be like something that like, I want to see in the comment section mm -hmm. of people that, you know, you guys lost. Yeah, who is it for you guys? Yeah, like how, who, has you lost, who have you lost that's the closest to you and how that has affected you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So how has that affected you? You're awesome. So my Tata, it was just really sad because I mean we were really close with him, but he he was sick for a really long time. Mm. So it's like it was it was a surprise because we didn't expect him to pass away, but it was like he was like weak for in pain for a long time. But he was a fighter. He's like, if you can keep me alive, keep me alive. Like you know. So he did dialysis every single day. It was like a lot. He didn't want to die. Mm. Wow. He wasn't trying to go, <laughs> but. Yeah, um, so I mean, that was sad. And cause he, him and his wife, so they're my great grandparents. They mm -hmm. like raised my dad. So it was like him losing his parents. So that was really sad too, to see my dad affected by it. Mm -hmm. And I lived with him most of my life. Cause even when we had our own house, I would go live with my grandparents mm -hmm. just cause I wanted to be with them. So I was always with him. Mm -hmm. My father was always in my business. So I would always talk to him about boys, like, like, 10 years old, talking about boys. Mm. And then Kathy, that affected me, I feel like, cause it's just, um, I wish I could have thanked her more mm. for what she did. Cause it's like, she was in my blood. Like she didn't have to take me in to live with her and give me a room and feed me and, mm -hmm. you know, um, pay for things. Like she didn't have to do that. And she did, like she chose to be my grandma. And yeah, so like that, like her makes me sad. Like I get happy, but I change, I get happy because I know I'll see her in heaven because we would talk about Jesus and stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So that that's how it affected me the most. And hers was the first time I've ever gone to a funeral and didn't see it as so like depressing. I even spoke at her funeral two times. Mm -hmm. I prayed at the wake and then at the burial. For Kathy, I was there. For Kathy, yeah, yeah. you were there. Um, and I'm glad I did because no one really else did. But I'm mm -hmm. glad I knew what I knew about her and about Jesus to be able to. But yeah. But hers makes me sad. Like when I think about her, like I'll see something and I think about her like so easily. At least like once a week. Wow. You know? But yeah, so that's how hers affected me. Mm -hmm. Hers was hard, but it was also the most positive because it's like I know she's in heaven. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm confident. I mean, you never really know, but it's like I'm really confident in that I'll see her again and she'll get to meet him. Does she believe in everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the beautiful about, part about salvation. Once you're saved, you're saved forever, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess this is a, a little a little bit sad, but deep topic. I know, I don't know why. So this is the first one, but that was the first one on the list I had. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> yeah. Man. If you want funner topics, let us know. Yeah, man, we're gonna have fun on the next one, man. Cause this one was a little, it hit home, you know. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little deep subject, but yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, Till next time, it's the Burst Family and uh, we out.
<laughs> God <laughs> damn. Do you remember? Do you like the passy? He loves it. That's his little new toy now. No more other ones. Toy now. You're done with them. You're done with all of them. We get rid of all of them. Mm-hmm. 